You are listening to the Daily Chase Podcast. This podcast was made for people who realize we are living in a changing world and not only want to survive in the new economy, but thrive in it. On this show, we discuss current finance, tech, and business events, while I share valuable stories and insights from myself and others on how to start building your digital assets now and get ahead before you get left behind. My name's Liam Chase, and welcome to the Daily Chase Podcast. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of the Daily Chase Podcast. This is your host, Liam Chase, and on this first episode here, we're going to be keeping it light, keeping it tight. And we're going to be talking about three things. We're going to be talking about who I am, what this podcast is about, and who this podcast is for. If you don't know me, my name is Liam Chase. I'm a 21-year-old marketing and sales professional. I like to say so myself. Just a guy on the chase for freedom. That's why I started the Daily Chase movement. Now here we are starting the Daily Chase podcast so I can get my assets, my digital assets right. And just a little bit about myself. About 10 months ago... I was living in the town of Orlando, Florida, and one day after I got back from a business and marketing boot camp, I made the decision to book a one-way from Orlando, Florida to LA, California, the city of opportunity. So basically, I got back Sunday night. I had no intentions of leaving Florida. Monday night, I referred a position that I actually flew over here to take to a friend of mine. I was like, hey, if I'm going to refer him to do it, why don't I just do it myself? So I literally got home that night, booked a one-way ticket to California on the following Wednesday. So literally two days after I got back, and it was a boot camp in Miami. So I got back from Miami, and then the next night I booked the flight to L.A. for Wednesday. And then Tuesday night I went out with um, my dad and had some dinner with family, and I told him, hey, I'm going to California. Don't know if I'm going to be back or what's really going to happen, but if I don't come back... I uh, love you guys. And then my dad asked me if I wanted his opinion. I actually told him I didn't want his opinion. And I was certain about my decision in going to California. And he respected me for that. People see it as a a quick decision that happened in like 24 hours. But it actually took more like a year, year and a half to make. Because at my old position, I loved what I did and I was successful at it. But I was just uncertain that it would get me to my goals in a time frame that I was looking to achieve them. That's really what inspired me to make such a drastic move. I mean, I literally dropped my my job. I dropped my family, my friends. I left my girlfriend. She ended up moving out to California with me. But the point is, is like I just made the decision to do it. And I think that's something that everybody has to do at some point in their life. And since I've gotten out here, I've just been having a lot of awesome success, meeting a lot of awesome people. And getting my assets and my money right. That's kind of a little story about me just in LA now, getting getting the hustle on, getting the daily chase on, and working 12 hours a day, Monday through Friday, and then um, getting home, working on my personal branding, podcast content, things like that, working on my health, getting my body right. I've actually lost about 30 pounds since I've gotten into LA. That's exciting. That brings me to this podcast, Ever since I started the job that I'm currently in, it kind of reignited some of the things that I was passionate about or was interested in when I was younger in like high school and maybe middle school. In fact, when I was in college, the, when I took the little assessment about what you should do with your career, it said I should be a lawyer or a judge. A little fun fact for you. So I've always had an interest in like debating and doing those types of things. I've always liked history and I've always been interested in technology, of course. I'm kind of like a tech guy. I like to get new stuff, not the brand new stuff, but I like to look into newer technology and learn about it. That's kind of what brought me here. Over the last couple of years, I've been studying heavily into finance, not like finance. Like When I say finance, I mean like achieving financial freedom. When I say business, I mean like growing, creating assets, a business of your own. And when I say tech, I mean like emerging technology like cryptocurrency and AI and all those technological advancements. So I just want to kind of put my spin on it and put my perspective on it. And hopefully you guys enjoy the the conversation and eventually bring some guests on as well to talk to and share stories and insights. This podcast is really for people who understand what's going on, who have an interest and are engaged in things like 
maybe even politics, business, finance, technology. I have a lot of friends who, even my friends were a, a reason I decided to start this podcast about this because I meet so many people who are engaged in a lot of different things, but they are failing to essentially create financial freedom for themselves. And I honestly believe that is going to be, I mean, it is the number one asset right now, but it's going to like tenfold into the future once we make the transition into the new paradigm. So I really want to inspire you, you know, if you are interested in the topics or engaged politically, financially, business, tech, start building your digital asset because it's going to be the most valuable thing. I believe that money follows attention. Once you have freedom, once you acquire attention and you get money and you acquire freedom, you have options and you can start creating impact and inspiring others as well. One thing I want to do on this top, on this podcast as well is, you know, I'm not completely financially free. I mean, I did pretty well for myself at 20 years, 20 years old better than the average 20 year old for my w2 so i just want to use this podcast as to document my journey to becoming a millionaire multi-millionaire and beyond right now i actually have a goal to become a millionaire by 25 i set that goal when i was about 18 20 honestly i i, I believe i can hit it sooner than that i believe i could hit it by 24 especially with things that are happening right now in the position it's really starting to look up for me I'm about to take off like a rocket, like a rocket. But it all starts with, you know, the daily chase and getting yourself into the habits, finding the opportunity, the advantage, because so many, so much news is negative. All it is is negativity. But how can we take the news and spin it in a way that is an opportunity to create financial freedom for yourself and your family and have an impact and leave a legacy? I mean, that's really what it's all about for me, at least. So I just want to meet people where they're interested, topics that we talk about, something that I'm pretty interested in as well, and then also show them maybe a side of things of those topics that they haven't considered, right? So those are the type of things that we're going to be talking about. Those, This is the podcast topics, and I look forward to building a relationship with you over the podcast. Uh, if you want, follow me on like Instagram. I am Liam Chase. You can add me on Facebook, Liam Chase. And just get on the Daily Chase is what it's all about. You know, at the end of the day, my goal is to inspire you to take action, start creating growing digital assets, start acquiring attention. We'll go from there. So I'm going to keep this first episode short. Hopefully you'll know a little bit more about me now and uh, I will talk to you next time. See ya. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Daily Chase Podcast. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that now. If you feel the episode resonated with you, be sure to rate and review the podcast. If you feel like someone else might like it, be sure to share the podcast. I want to thank you in advance for all your support. And until next time, remember that you don't join the Daily Chase, you get on the Daily Chase. See ya.